Before the Polar Express was a beloved holiday movie, it started as a beautiful book written and illustrated by Chris Van Allsburg. Many are surprised when they hear a train fan like me hasn't seen the movie, just bits and pieces. But from what I've managed to see, it only reaffirms my love for the book instead. There's not a whole lot wrong per se with the movie, but there's more wonder to the simplicity of the book. We live in a day and age where not much is left to the imagination anymore, so I've only come to appreciate the book more over time. And as a dad now reading this to my son, it warms my heart to share this with him. So when we found a beaten up version of Lionel's best-selling train set, I decided to take it as an opportunity to bring the book to life. My son has been asking about a Polar Express for a while now, so even just the regular set would have probably made him happy. But I thought it would be more fun to put my own spin on this iconic locomotive to bring it back to its roots. If you watched my previous video, then you already know the kind of shape this nearly new set was in. Somehow there was plenty of front end damage and it was the perfect candidate to give this little facelift to. Fans of the movie know that the engine is a Berkshire. Baldwin 284 S3 class Berkshire type steam locomotive. But the engine depicted in the book is a little more loose than that. Sure, the author used the iconic 1225 Berkshire of Perry Marquette as a basis, but the wheels are a little different, the details are more simple, and even the bell is behind the smokestack instead of hanging off the front of the smoke box. I didn't feel that a complete overhaul was necessary to capture the general look of the book version, so I focused on removing things like the signal lights and the bell, shortened the headlamp, and chopped off that hump ahead of the smokestack. After some work with a Dremel, I applied some automotive body filler until the holes were filled. I smoothed over the final details and refitted the headlight inside its new home. It still operated with a Lion Chief controller, and the few lines from the movie are fine with me since most of them are just from the book anyways. Plus, we've listened to the music enough times to know Tom Hanks' voice without even seeing the film. Other than some adjustments to the running gear that had been messed up since its previous spill, it was pretty straightforward. I also decided to simplify the cars a little bit. Again, since the focus was to make this set more accurate to the book, there was no need to keep the characters lit in the windows. Simple lights shining through are all you can really see in the book, so I decided removing the outlines and characters would be truer to the illustrations. The focus can remain on the train and the lights flickering between the scenery as it passes through instead of some arbitrary characters and some chefs that look the same. For the changes made, these cars come apart easy enough, so after some thorough sanding, I reassembled the cars and I'm much more pleased with this simple, clean look that they have. On top of the changes for this Polar Express set, we also brought something special to the second-hand Overland. I completely rebuilt the elevated line of our railroad and, with the help of my wife and son, we decorated it with porcelain buildings from this North Pole collection. These belong to my wife's mother, so it was really special to bring them here. I know she would be happy to see them enjoy it again after being boxed away for so many years since her passing. So it's really fulfilling to feature them with this railroad that my son and I have been making together. It's a really magical scene thanks to these. So to kick off the Christmas season this year, I finally unveiled this train to my son. What about it? It's a rhino. What is it? Oh. It's a train I have in the snow. <laughs> Needless to say, he was over the moon about it. In the first evening alone, we've already run it multiple times and even one more time just before bed. I know it's going to be special leading up to our celebrations as we close out the year, and I'm so glad it's helped transform this end of our train layout. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe for more as I've been very busy sharing all the fun stuff we're up to. I just love making these videos, so if you enjoyed it too, leave a like, comment. Your support always means a lot. Stay tuned for more.